Hi and welcome again with .NET Core API with the Flutter. We are doing part 7. So as you remember in the previous video, uh, we have written our API to fetch the, da the data. Uh, or the API service, not the API, API already we, written, we have written it on uh, sv.NET Core. Uh, in the previous video, we built the API service Dart to fetch our data from the ASP.NET Core. So after that, we create our student's uh, UI to display the uh, student list for the end user. So we've been doing together uh, uh, the last things we have done, just we set the student list to the student uh, so to be public to use it in our list or in our build to how to fit to show to the user uh, so uh, let me just start doing the list uh, okay so here in, in this one what we can do now we will build our list after we build our uh, scaffold inside the scaffold with our app bar in the app, app bar with the title only after that we build our list so the list, list is here we'll, we'll use something called list builder uh, it will be something same for each we'll see how many items we have in the API to print all of them so first things is we need uh, it will be list view okay uh, dot builder Okay, inside this builder we have something we call it uh, item count. So this we need the, I will back to this one, I will leave it now, now. I will back to this now because we need the number of the items we are getting from the database. So how many, how many uh, student? To depend on this item count to print how many one we have or to access the, the students. We can say uh, item, dot, uh, item one, it will give you student number one. So item zero will give you a student uh, number zero like that, depend on the ID. Uh, so item builder will have here the context dash the index. Okay. So inside this one here will return. So depend on you here. You you can use anything you like, but I will use the card just to. It will be uh, it will be better and uh, let's say better for the user to see the items inside cards. It's similar to the card in Bootstrap four. It's not that different. So inside this card, I have color. I will put the colors uh, white. Uh, elevation. This the let's say how it will be a bit. Uh, it's not flat will be a, it will give you age on the between the main uh, UI with the uh, card so it will have age between them so it will be 2.2 3.0 sorry after that we'll have the child for this uh, card it will be list title so inside this list title We'll have again title. Uh, inside this title, what we write, we'll say text. Inside this text, sorry, it will be my student. So we'll access the public list uh, with the index that first name. So this one, the list will be in one line. We can put anything you like, but I will leave just now, currently, just the student. Uh, list I will not put any more after that you can do as much as we want okay uh, here what should be something let's go like this right. okay because you are putting in the title of the list that's it uh, so when I press on this one, on the title or on, on the name, I need to take me to we're supposed to different UI to update or to delete or do something from there. But currently I will leave it null. We'll come back to it after. 
so after that here on tab this one end of the card yes end of my card here okay uh, I don't think so we need anything more to display here I think that's the name is enough so we need the count only of the student so the count I can use this one I can say uh, student that length uh, I think it's better to use the student that length I don't need to make it complicated uh, students dot length so this will be the student count uh, is that enough to run the uh, what we have done I think here is enough we c it will be display for us the student but how to access this uh, UI because if I run the application I can't access the UI it will open for me just the main UI let me just show you what will happen if I uh, run it now We have something with David. Okay, nice now. So we'll have the emulator. It will take time just to build the application. So as you see, it's just the, the default uh, code from uh, uh, Flutter, what we have in the main uh, page here, or in the main uh, Dart file. So how to, uh, to say to this uh, main Dart file to go to the student uh, list and to call the, the rest of the, the APIs there so it's easy and simple I will do it everything from here I don't need it I just left it to I left it there to show you so here I need to call something or import something more I will say uh, I will go to UI and said the UI I have the student UI so what I what I have called my class there uh, if you back to the student UI, I call my class student. So just if I back here, I can delete everything here. And say student it's like this. If I want to pass anything, as I said to you, you can write it more uh, variables here to pass anything title or anything more. Just you can write it here. You can pass it. That's uh, not a big issue. So let's say this one. I'm back to our ah yeah yes uh, so what it's saying to us is the length was or colored null so how to fix this issue so saying to us there's nothing here let's reset uh, this the get feature student so uh, what the uh, issue is we are calling something is empty so when you build your uh, list you come here to build the list uh, here you are starting building your list saying to you it's the, the length is zero or is null there is nothing so here how to do it or how to play around it uh, I will show you how to do this one you need just to say a uh, small thing okay uh, just what we need to go to the so before calling this one I need to do something more or uh, what I can say here, I said student uh, if it's equal null so the, the list that we have saved all our student if it's equal null okay uh, go center okay inside the center I will put uh, child inside this child I say text I will say uh, empty okay so if it's uh, null show me this empty or if it's not null go build that list I will try I will show you after this one how to enhance the code and how to make it uh, more readable it's I think last this it's too too confusing to understand this code so let's save it and go back again here so it's showing you empty and we we are in the student list now not on the main forum so how to add something I'll back to my uh, postman in the postman I have already here something I say it's send 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 I'll back again to get 
show me if you have any things yeah nice let me back to my uh, code where is my code so I need to just reboot it I'm back here again it will reboot only so after starting my application still showing me empty and I have data here so what's the issue if I back to here and just uh, check it good uh, inside my class I declare I uh, have written already my uh, get student so after that I build so in the build when I start build still my list is null why because I didn't call get the student so I should call get the student where when I build my UI so I can say here uh, please build or get the student prepare everything uh, do everything prepare it and save it on my student list after that start build my uh, UI so if I save again uh, save I back again that's it so now it's showing me card or list list view inside it card inside the card I have list title and we'll, we'll see after that what mean that list title and there's more things we'll see it when you add icon in the left or the right or add button or something like that uh, as I told you at the beginning the uh, main, main things about this course is just to learn how to fetch your data uh, and work with this uh, stuff it's not animation not how to style it it will see the style is not that good uh, so we have a few minutes let me just save this time and to do something uh, enhancing the code or cleaning my code as I told you what we can do with the flutter we can do uh, enhancing the code to be better than this so if you see here the up bar what you can do with this up bar I can cut this one from here I can say uh, let me give name let's say underscore uh, build let's call it this build up bar okay this build up bar what I will go here in the button I say with the jet uh, this widget I will call it uh, underscore build up bar inside say return return for me this up bar I think you see how what we have done now I just I just took my, the code from the top and added it here it's some similar to OOP and make it easier so write my method as a widget here and call it wherever I want here even I can save it in the main one after that I can inherit it wherever I want so now here I, I clean the code a bit here so even this the I can say from here my list should be careful always with the brackets here it's confusing sometimes and not easy to get them so this one uh, let me call it uh, underscore build uh, student list okay I'll back here I say I want widget I would call it uh, void get I would call why too many things uh, same name what I have called before student list so return uh, same so I just need to put semicolon and that's it here if you back at the top so you see here how is it now nice and clean you have your up bar here and you have the build under there under that one uh, so it's you see it's clean and you can add many things and many stuff why we did these things this method will be uh, uh, will be ha will have more things here to add will add icons will add many things and will add more uh, uh, actions here so it will be confusing and many things here to to write so better to clean it and do it easy and readable more readable even if nothing will be changed if you go to your code it's working fine uh, uh, that's it for today and see you in the next video bye bye